Welcome to the School of Lights. Have no fear, Professor Justin is here to shed some light on this low-frequency phenomenon. There's plenty of confusion for what a low-frequency siren is, what it does, and how it's best used. If you're like most people, you want to add a hammer siren to your setup, but you're not clear on how it will work. First, let's start with Hertz. Humans can hear from 20 right to about 20,000 Hertz. We hear best around 1,000 to 5,000. For reference, a dog can hear up to 50,000 Hertz. So to compensate for a lack of superior dog hearing, a low-frequency siren helps alert drivers by shaking their vehicle. Your standard 100-watt siren averages around 1,000 Hertz, right at the beginning of our best heard range. This is why a standard 100-watt siren plays an audible tone that can be heard far and wide. A low-frequency siren averages right around 500 Hertz, right below our best heard range. So you can't quite hear a low-frequency siren as much as you can feel it. It will shake the vehicles around you and add an additional layer of notification. So what's the best way to utilize a low-frequency siren? It's best used as an addition to your standard 100-watt siren, allowing you to be heard for a wide range of hertz. When you're pulling up to a crowded intersection, turn on the low-frequency siren in conjunction with your standard siren, and vehicles will not only hear you, but will feel you. One last note, it's important to mention that OSHA does not recommend using the siren for prolonged periods of time to prevent hearing damage. So it's best to have a separate switch for your low-frequency siren to turn it off when it's not in use. Well, that concludes today's lesson in the School of Lights. If you need any extra help, leave a comment below or contact us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.